Hi, and welcome to episode three of Focal Point, bringing your business and success into focus. My name is John Cutler, and I'm a certified Focal Point business coach and franchisee owner of Focal Point Business Coaching Alberta, where our proven curriculum is powered by the excellence of Brian Tracy. I work with business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives to help them achieve their personal and business goals faster than they ever thought possible. Every week, I share the world-class business material that Focal Point coaches around the world share with their clients. These are the time-tested and proven strategies that when applied to your business result in incredible improvements to your time, team, profitability, and exit strategy. I'll also be interviewing a different business owner and each week with the help of my fellow Focal Point coaching colleagues will assist my guests in working through a current issue they're facing within their business. It's a great way to get a snapshot of what business coaching is all about. Last week we covered the importance of knowing, understanding, and tracking your key performance indicators and key result indicators. For those of you who missed it, it's available on demand at fuselogic.tv. This week, I'll be sharing a technique called diamond mining and how it applies to your business and life. Session three is identify your starting point. And Evan, if you could please cue up the PowerPoint and I'll ask viewers to, uh, to take some notes because this is great information. And again, uh, this session is just a snapshot of what the full session is all about but it's still a very key concept and you're going to get a lot of value out of it. So Evan, I'll get you to pull up the, the, um, the PowerPoint, if you please, and we'll get into this. Uh, this is great information, so, so please get a pen, use your computer. However you get this information down, it's really important. And just to let you know, this is, this is just a snapshot of this particular session. There's a lot more to it, but what you're going to see today is really, really valuable. So identifying your starting point. Balance brings a competitive edge, and when you started out in your business, you promised yourself that once you reached the top of the mountain, things would be different. Your life would be more balanced. One key to increasing your productivity is to master the art of balance. Too many entrepreneurs realize their success in businesses only to wake up and discover that they've paid an untenable price in their health, their relationships, and the other important aspects of their life. So, within the focal point program, we talk about six particular uh, key elements of your life, and we focus on four. But the six elements are financial independence, health and fitness, family and relationships, personal growth and development, social and community service, and the sixth is spiritual development and inner peace. And as I said before, in the Focal Point program, we focus on these four, which is business and career, and with business and career, it's so vitally important to clarify what that picture of, of your ideal business and career is all about. We focus on your financial independence. So this is when you no longer need to worry about money, and then you can start to direct your energy towards higher needs. Number three is health and fitness. You get more out of life today by achieving a, a strong health and fitness. Um, and what this will also do is prepare you for life for life after work um, so that you can enjoy that in a healthy and happy manner. And then number four is family and relationships. 85% of your happiness will come from good relationships with your family, with the people that you work with. And uh, the, the, the funny thing here is, and it's not that funny, is that uh, quite often as you're working towards those, those business goals, it's your family and relationships that, that really suffer. Okay, so here's Here's an action exercise, and it's called diamond mining. And as I mentioned before, we focus on, on the four key elements, business success, financial independence, health and wellness, personal relationships. And the reason that we, we, we track these in the Focal Point program is because they're easy to measure. And so the, the part of diamond mapping that's, that's really key is for you to evaluate where you are currently uh, on a scale of one to 10. And so in this particular slide, uh, what we're looking at is a is a person who who rated themselves as as a four out of ten on business success. So you have to begin to ask ask these questions. What is it going to take to get me from a four to an eight or a nine or a ten? And and similarly with with financial independence, this person had a had a five out of ten. Health and fitness was at a six, and personal relationships was at was at a seven. And so. What this starts to do as we go to the next slide, Evan, thank you, uh, you 
begin to construct a diamond. And this is a great, it, it's a great illustration of, of how there is a lack of balance because the goal is to reach a, as close to a perfect diamond shape as you can. And, and what this indicates to me is that there has to be a focus on the business success at, at this point. And as we work through the focal point program, we'll always keep in mind the other three access points. And, and certainly the focal point program does focus on more on the business side, but we always have to be aware of where, where you're at in terms of financial independence, health and fitness, as well as personal relationships. Okay, next slide. So benchmarking, this is, this is another key that works in really nicely with the diamond mining. Now, as, as you determine what your benchmark descriptor is, and what a benchmark descriptor is, that's your, that's your focal point on each of these four areas. So in the case of business and career, uh, what your benchmark descriptor might be is your hourly rate. Okay, and, and I'll get into hourly rate in, in another session. Uh, but maybe you're at a you're at a forty five dollars per hour hourly rate. Real easy way to calculate what your hourly rate is is you take your total income over the course of the year, and then you you simply divide by two thousand because that's approximately the number of hours that a person works during the year. What your ideal target is. So if you want to go from a, a forty five dollar an hour uh, benchmark descriptor up to you name it hundred dollars an hour. Um, what do you have to do to get from that from that four out of ten to a ten out of ten? Financial independence might be something like your burn rate, and what your burn rate is is uh, the no, the amount of dollars that you need to to pay your bills. So let's say you need five thousand dollars a month. A, a great target might be to lower that a little bit to to say four thousand dollars a month. So how do you do that? And uh, that's up to you to decide. And the next slide. Health and fitness, maybe it's your benchmark descriptor is a weight. Maybe you have a target weight of 165 pounds. Um, where are you at right now and where do you need to get to? And then you start to create your program, your, your, your plan of attack on how to get from where you are now to where you want to get to. Family and personal life, you know, a, a good benchmark descriptor is the number of hours that, that you spend with the people that you want to spend time with what your ideal target is, where you are currently, how can you make a slight adjustment to make sure that you're getting an extra two hours with the, with the people that you love. And the next slide. There is no other slide. Perfect. So, we're, so that means we're back. Okay, back to the second half of the show. And with me in studio is, uh, is a longtime client of mine, uh, Steve Baldeguerra. He's the owner of Home Envy Furnishings uh, here in town. He's got two, two locations that are operating. Um, we've been together, Steve, for 19 months mm -hmm. or so and counting. And, uh, you know, I have to say just a, another one of my points of pride is working with Steve to see him where he's come from and uh, you know, basically the growth that has taken place just in us, in us working together. So I'm wondering, Steve, could you please share with, with our viewers out there uh, the types of exciting things that are particularly happening right now within, within your business? Well, over the course of the last year and a half that I've been working with John, uh, with you, things have dramatically changed within the company. We've completely rebranded the company with a new name, a new image, a new look, uh, a great depth of new product. Um, and all of that has stemmed from the goal setting and the diamond mining and yeah. planning that the focal point program has brought me. Yeah. The, the dining, uh, the, the dining, the diamond mining exercise, uh, is, is an exercise that we've, we've pulled out a number of times, uh, with, within, within our coaching sessions. And, and here's a, a really good tip, uh, for those of the, for those of you out there, um, a, a great way to gain that clarity uh, is, uh, Evan, could you pull up the uh, one of the diamond mining slides? Sorry to put this on you. This is live TV, folks. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> he thought he was done with the slides, but he's not. Um, my point here was that you can interchange those access points. And so in, in Steve, Steve's case, I think we replaced, uh, we replaced all of the access points. We implemented uh, sales 
Uh, we implemented marketing, we implemented processes, and we in implemented uh, HR. And and uh, it, it's a really great conversation starter uh, when when you find that okay, well, well, our processes are at a at a four out of ten. That really brings us into focus. Did you did you find that as well? And and how did you find that? Absolutely, it gives you a clear idea as to what your shortfalls are. Um, and what you're doing well and what you're happy with um, gives you a clear sense of if you're a four, you've got six points to move up. There's a lot of room to improve and gives you a real target as to what to aim for. Yeah. And, and to start to really build that plan, uh, you know, making small little adjustments along the way, um, like with, with the program and you've been through basically the whole thing, uh, did you find that, that there was ever too much, uh, did you find that there was ever too much on the plate, uh, or, or gaining that clarity, the focus, the planning, did that enable you to, to start taking nice little bites out of, out of everything that you had to do in order to get where you are? Well, as a small business owner, there's always too much on the plate. Um, but in in breaking it down that way, you don't look at the company as one big whole. You're able to look at it as individual sectors, you know, the, as you discussed, the processes, the HR, you know, as your staff projecting that image and that brand that you want, uh, you want them to be projecting. Are your sales at that level you want them to be? If they're not, how do you get them there? Right. Um, and it breaks everything down individually to to allow you to focus a little bit more. Right, excellent. Now, when when uh, when I ask you to send send your bio to me, uh, one of the things that 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 struck me was was your desire to change the way that that people buy home furniture. Now, what do you mean by that? And and I have to apologize to the viewers out there. We we're we we're supposed to have another focal point coach come on board. Um, and Lori, I, I hope everything is okay. Um, we're we we're going to work through that together with you. And so um, as it stands now, you've got me, sorry, <laughs> and uh, and we'll just we'll just work through that. So how how does that look? How does changing the way people buy home furniture look to you? Well, when we first started talking about a rebrand of the company and repositioning ourselves, the first question that comes up is what do you do best and what makes you different? Uh, and for us, it's the uniqueness of our products. We take a built-to-order standard product and build it with countless different options, finish, size, hardware, fabrics, leathers, all sorts of custom options to create a unique piece that blends perfectly in our client's home. Um, and I want to get rid of that idea of thinking that you have to go into a furniture store and buy what you see because it's there because that's how it's built, because it's mass produced. Um, I don't like the idea of people having to settle for furniture because that's what they're, what's there, that's what's in stock right now, and that's all that's available. Um, you know, the beauty of our products is you can tinker with everything and, mm -hmm. and build it to, to your, your likings and to suit your needs and your wants and your tastes. And that's truly what makes us unique and what is our advantage over everybody else. Right. So expressed in another way, um, what you're telling me is uh, you're, you're trying to put more emotion in, into the selling and the buying of, of the furniture. And, and I, think, I think that's genius uh, because the, you're right. There are a lot of transactional buyers out there um, who just settle. And I've been into your store hundred times and, uh, and it, it's, it's not a transactional buy. I mean, just the name itself, Home Envy, I mean, that in itself is an emotion, right? And, and for people to take pride in, in their business uh, or in their, in their home and, and the way their house looks, uh, I, I, think you're, I think you're on the, the right track. Um, so if, let's use the, the diamond mining exercise, where are you now on a scale of 1 to 10 between achieving that, uh, achieving that goal of, of changing the way people buy home furniture? I think we're getting close, you know, we're definitely getting the message out. People are becoming more familiar with the options and what we can provide. Um, there's always room for improvement. I don't think a perfect 10 on the diamond mining is, is ever achievable. There's always room to tinker and improve with, with one area or another. Um, but I think we've made a lot of the right steps over the course of the last year and um, the goal setting that's been done and the targeting uh, that's been done through your program. 
uh, have really helped to achieve that. And Steve brought up a great point. Uh, he doesn't think it, it is possible to achieve that perfect 10. I agree with him because what happens, uh, let's say you set, you set your personal goal for, for uh, a, a yearly income of $200,000. And right now you're at $100,000. So let's say that you're at a 5 out of 10. Uh, what happens when you achieve that, that 8 out of 10? So now you're at $180,000 a year. Is $200,000 a year still a 10? No. It's, it's human nature. You bump that bar up because now you've seen it's possible to get really close. So human nature, you, you bump it up. So I agree with you, Steve. And uh, that's just good learning on your part. So I, I appreciate that. Um, now, in, in terms of getting your message out, and I know that we have, a, we have an online question here, uh, and so we'll speak to that a little bit. In terms of uh, how you're, you're marketing, because you, you've mentioned that you've, you've done the rebrand, which was an incredibly courageous move. Uh, Home Envy used to be under a different name, and for 25 years they were successful. And Steve had the... The, the wherewithal and uh, and the perseverance um, to to make that change and so kudos to you Steve uh, so how are you spreading the word and and what are you finding in the the media marketplace and let's let's help out this this online caller well advertising and choosing the the most appropriate medium is always a struggle uh, especially now with the the new forms the social media the the online uh, component of it um, it's new to a lot of people, but it's the easiest and most effective to be able to track. So a lot of what we're doing is becoming less and less in print and more and more online. Um, you know, you can see exactly how many people have viewed it, exactly how many people have emailed you in regards to it. Um, you can really effectively target two specific people, mm -hmm. uh, whereas the old school methods of print and mailings and that kind of thing are really a shot in the dark and you don't really know the, the effectiveness uh, without a lot of detail and background work. Okay, great. And, and what, what, what is your media mix these days? Uh, we use a little bit of everything just because you really want to be in front of people from all sorts of different aspects. You know, we still use a little bit of the print uh, and a little bit of direct mailing, but we're definitely starting to explore with, with the online potentials through mm -hmm. Google AdWords, through the social media sites, Facebook and Twitter, um, as well as just promoting the website and, and, and mail outs uh, via email but through our customer database. Um, and really uh, targeting the people that, uh, that we really want to be, and that right. we know that we're going to see results from. Yeah, and let, let's not make any mistake. I mean, just being on this program and knowing that it's going to be available on demand, what a great opportunity to con continually uh, put out the message out there because this is going to be available. And, uh, and so this is going to be now implemented into Home Envy Furnishings marketing plan. And, uh, you know, I, certainly it's a vehicle for myself as well. And, uh, you know, this, this is business. So, and we're, we're here to, to change the world, yes, but uh, we're also here to put, put uh, food on our tables for sure. Um, so I think that about wraps up our our interview portion, Steve, I, I'd really like to thank you for, for being on, uh, you know, great, great job. And thank you for sharing all this, this great information. Um, you know, I've, I've spoken to you before about, uh, about the financial industry reports that I have available. Um, I've done one up, which I'm going to email to you, uh, you know, and it's going to, again, help to, to help you benchmark where you're at right now versus the industry. And we'll go through that. Um, and so I'll just pull up the uh, the other the other PowerPoint, if you don't mind, Evan. Yes, and part of of course of of every show is just providing the viewers a knowledge of what we do have available through Focal Point, and there are some some definite uh, benefits to viewing. Uh, so the disc assessment, and Steve has been. Uh, well versed in the disc assessment from from the first session on and uh, he's actually used it with within his own uh, company to hire people uh to to better communicate with them as well do you have any any thoughts on the disc assessment it's a great way to really understand somebody um you know you can schedule a couple of interviews and you can sit down and you can listen to them answer 
you know, your standard questions and they tell you all the right answers. But the questions that the DISC assessment uh, asks really breaks down a person's real personality and really gets to know them and gives you great insights as to how to work with them moving forward. Absolutely. So th thank you for that. And, and it is called the Managing for Success Assessment. And, and that's exactly what it does is it helps you motivate, uh, it helps you communicate more effectively. Uh, another individual product, I just mentioned the financial report on your industry. Any NAICS coded category industry is, is available and uh, we'll, we'll give you a price break on that as well. You're getting it for free, Steve. So. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. A one-time 30-minute no obligation pure entrepreneurial call with the, the coach of your choice. And for those of you out there, that's me today. Uh, free of charge and that there's a value of $250 to that. Uh, just, just contact me and we'll set up a time and we'll, uh, we'll see what's on your mind. Okay. And as well, uh, the platinum package, all three of those items that I just mentioned, uh, go to that, that link below and, and we'll hold it up. I've made it really easy. I've, I've changed the name. So Evan, what do you think of that? Am I getting better? Longer. Now it's longer, <laughs> but it's focal point show three. No, that's good. That makes sense to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. And here, because this particular session, session three, identifying your starting point, uh, I think Steve and I took maybe two or three sessions to actually work through the entire, the entire, uh, session. And so what I'm going to offer today is a 90 minute one-on-one -on -one full session with me. And to get the full impact of the, of the session, just book a time with me. Uh, you'll receive the, all of the reading, all of the application exercises, plus I'll help you set your action items and get your plan started. Uh, again, go to that particular, particular link. Frequency is a good thing. Correct. Correct, Evan. Yes. Yes. Of course. Okay, and if, if you're also interested in finding out more about franchising opportunities within Focal Point, uh, just contact me as well, and I'll make sure you get into the, into the right hands uh, with that. Perfect. So we've, uh, I think we've provided a lot of value here, Steve. Absolutely. And certainly we'll, we're working towards, and you're right, we're working towards this, this changing the, the, the perception of, of how people buy home furniture. We're going more to the, the emotional side. You're on a great track. And, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot more to, to come from Home Envy Furnishings. I can assure you of that. And uh, so thanks, thanks for being here. Uh, next week, we're going to start on another session, and it's called Creating Your Own Strategic Plan. Sounds pretty important, because guess what? It is. And so join me here on Fuse Logic TV at 10 a.m. Mountain Time next Wednesday, where we'll begin that process of creating your own strategic plan. Thanks for joining us today.